So Techno made a foldable device, the Phantom V Fold. It has very impressive hardware, also very good specs, and almost half the price of the Galaxy Fold 4. First off, it's a big one. It's pretty chunky. It looks like two smartphones sandwiched together. The good thing though is they made good use of its space. As you can see, the cover screen is pretty big, just like a regular phone at 6.4 inches. So you can easily just use the cover screen for literally everything. And then when you unfold it, it looks similar to a mini tablet. The screen unfolded is 7.9 inches. So it does give you more room for multitasking. One of the most important features of a foldable is the hinge because you're going to be folding and unfolding so it has to be a good experience and like i said earlier the hardware on this phone is pretty damn good at least from the videos i've seen so far i heard they're using some sort of butterfly mechanism for the hinge and that has its positives as well as negatives the major advantage is less of a crease if you take a flat piece of paper and you fold it you would have a crease right in the middle so in the same way when you take a display and fold it you should have a crease right in the middle or at least with the current tech so for now a crease is unavoidable but with the v-fold the crease is less significant when compared to the Galaxy Fold 4, it's like there's no crease. So that's one positive. One negative is you can either have the V Fold unfolded or folded. So there is no in between. With Samsung Z Fold 4, there's something called flex mode where the screen will be folded at a 90 degree angle. But we do not have that on the V Fold. It's either opened or closed. Foldables pretty much come with top of the line specs and the Phantom V Fold is not different. The only thing that might stick out is that they went with a MediaTek processor and not Snapdragon. But unless you're comparing the Dimensity 9000 to the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, you would view this chipset as top of the line. So it's the same chipset on the Phantom X2 Pro and like I and everybody else said, performance is no joke. It's super fluid and you can play all the best games at really good settings. The display as well is also top notch. Both displays are 120 hz LTPO AMOLED panels. The cover display is 1080p but the inside display is 2K. So very fine. For the cameras we have a 50 megapixel main, 50 megapixel telephoto and a 13 megapixel ultrawide and on the front a 16 megapixel front facing camera. And just like on the Phantom you can shoot videos in 4K. Now the best part of having a foldable is that you can use the main camera for your selfie photos and videos. So you would be getting very detailed and sharp selfies. And for battery, it does come with a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which for a foldable is pretty impressive. We'll be testing out the battery life and all that stuff in the full review, so make sure you subscribe. The Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 4 costs $1,650, while the V Fold costs $1,000. $100 after conversion. Now, if that's correct, that definitely heats up the foldable space and leads to more competition, which we all know benefits us, the consumers. I think it's also impressive what Techno is doing. I mean, last year they made their real first flagship phone and they did a pretty good job. And now this year they've released their first foldable. And so far, I would say they also did a pretty good job. My full review on the V Fold is coming. I would obviously talk more about the phone then, but do let me know, what do you want to see in that video? What do you want tested out? But yeah, for now, these are my first impressions on the Phantom V Fold. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you when you see me.